Hello and good morning. Straight in with the chat today. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura. I haven't said that for a while, but you probably know that if you're on episode nine of Vlogmas in July with me. Welcome back. It is Tuesday morning and I have already been out and about doing my jobs, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I didn't have a camera with me and I didn't vlog it because I just wanted to like get stuff done and then I could like sit down and like probably have a little chat with you. It's been a, uh, it was a stressful morning. Thanks to young Penelope's nap yesterday evening. She didn't go back to sleep again until about 10 o'clock. So this morning it was really difficult to get her up and out of bed. So it was quite a stressful morning, running about, getting everything ready. She doesn't normally go to nursery on a Tuesday. She normally goes to my mum's, but my mum is busy this week. So um, I booked her in to nursery because she's just having a half day on Friday. I thought, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna book her in. You know, it's her last week before the holidays. So um, so I had to make her pack lunch, which I don't normally need to do. And of course, cause she was having one, Jeff made one too. It was just all like, yeah, quite intense this morning. Um, and then I went straight into town to pick up my little bits and pieces, which I have right here. And I thought I'd show you what I got, because I got some really cool things. It was one of those things where I was like, I only went in for stickers and came out with this. <laughs> I went to a shop called Berry Loon, which I am extremely fortunate to have the actual real life shop so close to me and where I live. But you can order from them online. They have an incredible selection of beautiful things. Honestly, like I feel like I could I could buy everything from my home from there. I mean, it'd be very expensive. <laughs> but if I always go there without fail, if I need to buy a gift for someone and I don't know what to get them, I just go to that shop and look around and I will always find something. And it will be something perfect and it will be something beautiful. Um, and yeah, it's just really, really lovely. And it's a small independent business so and local to me. So I'm more than happy to spend my money there. Um, first of all though, I stopped off at the steam house and I had a bagel. I kept this bag because I thought it was so cool. Look at that. Such fun graphic design. It was fantastic. So I got a bagel for my breakfast and it was stunning. And I also got something I've not had in a long time. I got a donut and my goodness. Now I've already smushed the top a little bit, but it's in a little thing. How stunning. Oh, does this look? Focus on the donut. It's a Biscoff donut. I'm full from my bagel for now, so I'm going to save it for a little bit later. Look at this. So good. Um, so yes, the actual actual things I got from Berry Lou. I went in for stickers and came out with other things. The main thing that I got that I wasn't planning to, but needed, was a watering can. I've got a little house plant watering can, but it's rusty and it's old and it's ugly and it needed to be replaced. And I saw this. How freaking cool is this? First of all, it's beautiful to look at. It says, feel the garden and house of botanicals on it. Don't really know why, but obviously it's a watering can and a spray bottle. I've wanted to get a new watering can and a spray bottle for like misting my leaves for ages and this is just the all in one. How amazing is this? It had quite a few different colors but I just went for the beige. Well, is it beige? It's more like a creamy yellow almost actually. It's quite yellow, ivory, ivory. So yeah, that was a fun little purchase and I'm really excited to use it. Like it's gonna really help me like up my game. Also on my uh, little um, task, sheet that I made. One of the tasks is houseplant admin. So that will help encourage me to do that. And then I got two more small storage crates. These are just like, you see them everywhere. I think they're fantastic, mainly because they fold up small. Not that I've never had to fold and store any away because I still need them, but I love the way that they stack. It's the main thing. I store all my knitting things in here. Penny, I store all of Penny's toys in these. Um, and I'll probably store some of Jeff's toys in these as well. But they come in loads of different fun colours. 
stack them up like that, which makes them really, really good for storage. Um, and obviously another one of my tasks is to sort out the spare room and I've got some yarn that needs to be organised again. I also have a bookshelf, big bookshelf in the living room that my husband built. I originally had a lot more of the kids' toys in. Now most of them have gone into Penny's room. There are some empty shelves that I would like to put some of my knitting supplies on. Just the stuff that I reach for regularly, like supplies, and then maybe the yarn I'm using for the projects that I'm working on at the time. Just just so it's, I don't have to keep going up up and down the stairs to get it and then I go to put stuff away but I end up just like chucking it on the bed in the spare room and I just think it will be better to have a little bit of storage there but not like overtake it with my yarn. So I've got two of those and I also got two bigger ones and these will be for the yarn and these will be for either yarn or like live projects. There you go. And then what else have we got in here? Okay, these aren't from Berry Loon. I got these from Waterstones, but it is just my littlest nephew's birthday on Sunday. And my sister said he's into Where's Wally at the moment. So she let me know which books he already had. And so I got him two more that he doesn't have. This is Penny's favourite. I've never done this one. This looks exciting. But can you guess what I'm also going to do for his birthday present? I'm not going to make him a Where's Wally jumper that, I mean, old Laura would have been like, he likes Where's Wally, so I should really make him a Where's Wally costume, but I've only got five days to do it. But if I do nothing else and just knit, then I'll get it done. And I would like kill myself doing this thing. Um, but I'm not going to do that now. I've ordered him a red and white stripy long sleeve, like thin t-shirt, and I am going to make him a hat. I've also ordered the round glasses that Penny, that I got for Penny. They're just from Amazon, they'll arrive tomorrow. But I have got time between now and then to make him a hat. And I also have the yarn, because I've got loads left over from the one I made for Penny. Penny's hat I made in a day, but I did make it a size too small. So I shouldn't need more than two days to make a hat for him. And it's his birthday on Sunday. So once I've finished um, the gloves, I'll be casting on a Where's Wally hat. So he can read his books and do a little bit of fun dress up. I'll probably make it maybe a size bigger. So then it will last a long, long time. And his older brothers can wear it if they want to. I don't know if they want to play Where's Wally, because obviously Penny likes to play Where's Wally. And she puts a jumper on and she goes off somewhere and hides, but like in plain sight and just stands there really still. We've got to go find her. So I imagine he might like playing that too. So I've got those for him. And then, oh, I forgot, I forgot about these as well. I got these for Penny. They're little hair clips. And she is very up and down with her hair. I think she's like me in that sensory wise. She doesn't, the reason she doesn't like me like doing her hair or having stuff in her hair is like the sensory thing. She doesn't like the way that it feels. Um, but she will, does go through phases where she will tolerate having her hair done. And I saw these tiny little pencils and at her playgroup, on her peg they all have their name and a picture and the picture usually alliterates or has the, the same first sound as their name so hers is penny pencil just as a music in the world but these just made me think of her so i thought these might be just a sweet little gift for her i don't really know why but yeah they're the clips they're like the little um they're like little springy clips rather than snappy clips. So these are a little bit more doable. And these might be quite nice for just keeping her hair back a little bit. And I think she'll like the penny pencil thing. They're by a brand called Mimi and Lula, which is one of my favourite kids brands. She's got quite a few hair accessories from this brand. And that's what I, I'll always buy these for gifts for little girls. So if like one of them's going to a party and it's a little girl, I'll normally get them a book and something from this brand because... They're just, it's just so beautiful and so beautifully made. But then the thing I actually went into the shop for is the stickers. And I just, my uh, brief was small. And some of them are small, some of them are big. Um, keeping the kids away from these is going to be difficult. <laughs> but I just went for what I was drawn to. And this is um, a company called Pip stickers i bought these for my mum actually because my mum loves the scrapbook and i got her a load of these for um, mother's day um so i think i've got some that my mum's got so i've got these ones which is like ice creams 
hot dogs, tacos, pretzels, pizza. So fun. Like, love them. And they're quite small. Most of them are quite small, so I should be able to fit them in my organiser, though. I think I'm going to redo that. And she's got beautiful flowers. Some of them are shiny. Again, some might be a little bit too big, but I could always combine, like, a big sticker with a small sticker for each day. And then I mainly got these ones for the fruit. I'm not so bothered about the puffins, <laughs> but the fruit, like... They're lovely and these little tiny fruits are just perfect and flowers and stuff and then again i wasn't so into the frogs and turtles of this these ones but i love the mushrooms and the rainbows and i just thought yeah super cute so yay that's my little morning haul for you um i don't really know what i'm going to do for the rest of my day I need to do my morning tidy and i'm actually looking forward to doing it because i get to put a little sticker in my book but also like because I tidied like twice yesterday and went to bed with everything tidy there's really not that much to do there's only like the morning clutter like the mess that the kids make and obviously make the beds and um empty the dishwasher and that kind of thing I need to put a wash on today but it is just going to be a quiet day at home today and I plan to do quite a bit of knitting I'm so conscious that I'm about to go into a phase where I'm not going to have so much of this time um, and I've got seven weeks of it and I am a little bit nervous about it if I'm honest so I just want to make the most of this time while I can. I will still have two child free days every week of the holidays apart from one week where they're not at school at playgroup but yeah. It'll be all right, we'll get through. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed yesterday's video. Sorry it was so long. <laughs> I didn't realize that I finished editing it and it was like 50 minutes long. I didn't realize it would be so long. I really didn't need to put two days together yesterday. So if you made it to the end of that one, well done. This one will be a little bit more consumable. <laughs> anyway, let's crack on with the day. Oh, the coffee from the bagel house was lovely as well. I need to be real with you. <laughs> um, so, after I last spoke to you, I got into bed and then I haven't gotten out of bed and it's four hours later. It's a really good thing and I just, I just kind of really felt the urge to share this with you. So, so many times in vlogmas 2022 when i was depressed all i wanted to do was curl up in a ball in my bed and sleep but i didn't i wouldn't let myself i wouldn't do myself the honor and i would try my hardest to continue and i'd turn the camera back on and i'd be like i don't know i don't know, I don't know. but like I couldn't, couldn't sustain it and so much footage got deleted because I didn't feel like I could post it because it wasn't authentic. So what you do see in 2020, in Vlogmas 2022 is all real, which is why, and it's also why it's so gappy um, because so many of those times I was just like, I can't, I can't, I can't. And after I spoke in the last clip, I just felt the overwhelming urge to just lie down and close my eyes and just not just not today, just not deal. And for the first time ever, I let myself do that. Didn't feel bad about it. <laughs> My goodness. As soon as I realized what was happening, so I got into bed and I was just staring at my phone and I could feel myself wanting to go to sleep, but I was making myself stay awake. And I was just like, Laura, what are you doing? And whereas before, my critical voice would have come in and said, oh, you're so weak. Look at you. You're stuck in bed. You can't get yourself up. You've got all these things you want to do today and you can't even get up. Like, what, what's wrong with you? Like, you're such a person. That's what would have gone on. But for the first time ever, my rational voice kicked in and went, you need and I was like, okay, 
phone off, set an alarm, door shut, curtains closed. <laughs> and I slept for two hours. And I, f I woke up <laughs> feeling so much better. Clearly, I needed that. I was up so late last night. And I've had like a stressful morning and I think I like mentioned even before I got into bed how I was feeling a little bit anxious about school holidays and stuff. And I'm definitely feeling some like levels of like, I feel like the load in my mind is kind of building at the moment. And it might take me a little while to figure out why, but my, my body and my mind knows that something is like building up too much and it just wanted me to shut down and sleep. And I just gave myself permission to do that. It was like, I mean, first of all, I'm so freaking lucky that I'm, I'm in a position where I can do that. Though I don't feel, I don't identify as a depressed person right now. I still have moods that go up and down. And sometimes they go really, really down and sometimes they go really, really up. But this is the first time I feel like I've actually honored myself and let myself do the thing my body needed. And oh my goodness, I woke up at two o'clock, it's now 25 past two, and I woke up and I couldn't quite believe that I'd been asleep and that I woke up feeling better. And then I just chilled out for a little while, scrolled on my phone, read some of your lovely comments from yesterday's video, and just, you know, <sighs> go get, get the kids in a little while probably get up now. Oh, I didn't do any of my jobs that I was going to tick off for this morning. Never mind, I'll do them in a little while. I just had this feeling of peace. And oh my goodness, like, I just wanted to share it with you because I know so much of the mental health content is like hard. And so much of living with a brain like mine is hard, but I need to celebrate these moments where I win. <laughs> so honestly, I just wanted to share that with you. Also, I ate my donut and it was freaking stunning. Oh my goodness. Honestly, one of the nicest things I've eaten in ages. There you go, there's another little win. I ate a donut and I don't feel like sh for it because it was freaking delicious. <laughs> so, okay, I need to leave to get the kids in about 25 minutes so instead of focusing on the job i can get done before then i'm just gonna assess this situation a little bit <laughs> i'm just gonna like refresh and get changed and stuff because yeah i don't think i'm literally in my pajamas right now um and then if i've got time to do any little bits of tidying i will but i think once the kids are home from school i'll uh, get the house in order then and i can just relax and enjoy the rest of my day knowing that I've taken care of myself today. So, there you go. See you in a little while.
sweet yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes. The day has begun. You spin around, you spin around, you laugh to yourself. And I see you shine in every color, resting your head in my arms. You sing la la la. Dears, this appears to be my spot at the moment, doesn't it? <laughs> it is now Wednesday and I am having a nitty day today, which is super exciting. This morning I have continued yesterday's theme of taking care of myself. I feel like I learned a huge lesson yesterday, all, all just from having an hour nap. <laughs> Um, but last night I um, spent the evening with my husband and we had some really, really big chats and just feel, feel really good this morning. Had a good night, well, kind of a good night's sleep. Penny came and made herself comfortable at about five o'clock in the morning, so I went and got in her bed. Um, apologies if you're picking up on the noise in the background. We are having external work done to our house at the moment, though it's it's weird because we've got an adjoining wall at the side of our house our house is in a hill and we have steps that go up the hill and they needed to be completely replaced and at the same time our neighbor is having their garage rebuilt and because we share that retaining wall it all had to happen at the same time and today they are the concrete is going in because it, it needs to be a big wall that holds a lot of load that basically holds the side of our house up um they're doing like a they've built like a wooden thing and they're pouring the concrete in and yeah so there's like a big concrete bump outside making lots of noise but hopefully you're not picking up on it but apologies if you do so yes it's been a self-care morning i took the kids to school this morning and i came home and blow dried my hair and then went outside and got rained on <laughs> so it's definitely not <laughs> It all got a little bit curly and wavy again, but I don't really mind because it's all smooth and shiny. I don't often blow dry my hair, just, you know, one, I don't really have the, well, no, I do have the time, I just don't want to spend that time <laughs> blow drying my hair, um, but also for the health of my hair, but I really fancied having a little bit of pamper time this morning, so I came home from the school run, had a shower, blow dried my hair, and then I walked back into the village. My aim was to, um, just to pick up half a loaf of bread from the bakery and a coffee um but i couldn't couldn't resist getting myself a bunch of flowers from the florist they do these beautiful garden bouquets that obviously i've shown you and they've got dahlias which are my favorite flower of all time and they've got stocks and lavender and oh they're just stunning they're so so beautiful and I love having fresh flowers in my home and it's something I would never, it's, it's one of those things that I'd always say to myself I couldn't spend my money on, like don't be silly, you can't, you can't buy flowers for yourself, why would you do such a thing? And now it's like I love flowers, I'm going to buy them for myself and I'm supporting my local business as well so yeah I'm very very pleased with those and then I've just been knitting for a little while, I've done some bits of tidying and stuff this morning. Um, I said to myself I wasn't going to do my list this morning, I was just going to do my list once at the end of the day like I did yesterday, but then I found myself being like, oh, I'll just make the kids beds and oh, I'll just tidy up my bedroom and I'll just put the hoover out. <laughs> so it's definitely working, I need to do some tidying in the kitchen, but again I'm not, you know, stressing myself out about it. Um, yeah, so the trackers are doing an amazing, amazing job. Um, little update on the old potential yarn allergic reaction. Um, I'm still pretty sure it's the yarn. However, I am now thinking it could also potentially be chlorine. Because we went swimming on Friday. I've not been swimming in a long time. And after swimming, because I had the two kids with me and just wanted to get sorted as soon as possible, we didn't shower at swimming. We showered when we got home. So I didn't immediately wash like the chlorine off me. It was like on my skin for a few hours. So I'm thinking maybe it's the chlorine that's had this reaction. Um, I don't know. The only other thing is like the wheezing part of it. I don't think the chlorine would make me wheezy. 
Um, but yeah, if you've ever had a, 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 re a skin reaction to chlorine, let me know. So, as I said, it's going to be a nitty day today. I have already done some knitting this morning and I have a finished object to show you. Kind of. I've finished the other mitten. Yay! I'm so pleased with them. They're actually the same size. How many times have you ever knit two mittens and then one ends up slightly bigger than the other one? <laughs> because, like, your tension changes as you relax, right? I haven't blocked them yet. I'm just going to give them a steam block. I don't need, think they need, like, a full wet block just the steam block will be will be good because i think the fit is absolutely lovely but i would like to soften them up a little bit although if i do wet block them then i can make them smell all lavendery i mean they already smell nice they don't really smell like overly woolly like I mean, a little hint of it but they don't exactly smell like sheepy oh my god they're so nice i love how you can kind of see like the vet, the, the variegation. Oh yeah, they're lovely. I've got a good hunk of it left. In the end, I used 30 grams of fingering weight yarn per mitten. So I used 60 of my 100 gram skein. So 40 grams left. And I think I am gonna keep it because even if it is that I'm allergic to that yarn, all I need to do is take an antihistamine and I'm all right. And then obviously the mohair as well. So yeah and obviously i have i held it double i held fingering weight double so yeah how exciting so yeah i'll give them a block today and then they'll be ready to gift to penelope's teacher on friday morning i am a little bit concerned about p actually when we got to nursery today she was a little bit wheezy and a bit out of breath which um can happen with her she's not obviously she's too young to be diagnosed as asthmatic but she does have an inhaler after quite a few um, trips to hospital at night time when she's woken up wheezy um, but she has her inhaler with her at nursery just in case so I hope she's all right but I wouldn't be shocked if I get a phone call today anyway so rambly the other project I need to show you today it's Wednesday so therefore it's time for me to show you my West Knits sock and I'm showing it you now because I'm going to work on the second one today I'm gonna give myself between now and school pickup time to get as much of it done as I can in that time without rushing. And then this evening, I'm gonna cast on my nephew's Where's Wally hat. I've got until Sunday to do that. So plenty of time, even if I cast it on Friday, I'll probably still get it done. But I would like to get that started today. But I would also like to get as close to finishing my second sock before the next clue comes out tomorrow as possible. So, if you do not want a spoiler for clue two of the West Knits Cow, look away now. I won't tell my, I won't say I'm going to put a time stamp in because I know I will forget. But yeah, just, you know, don't look at the screen for now and I'm going to show it quickly and then I'll take it off the screen and yeah. <laughs> Ta-da! So clue two is this bit here and this is the heel. And I had so much fun with this clue. I really, really enjoyed it. I did make my leg shorter. There should be two more of these here. But I, I think I mentioned this before. But like my leg length, I'm quite particular about because I don't like the cuff being too tight. Um, so I did shorten that section a little bit. And then the heel was so satisfying to do. And I love the way it looks. I love like a whole pair of socks in that um in that stitch pattern okay the sock is gone you can look again <laughs> but yeah i'm basically really really enjoying this still i'm loving my colors it doesn't feel like a chore or anything i also don't feel too much pressure if i don't quite manage to keep up like i think this week um i will be prioritizing my nephew's hat and stuff and if i don't get the socks done then that's why it doesn't matter i can catch up next week but I am really, really enjoying it and I'm looking forward to having my finished socks. So, yeah, the rest of today, the rest of this afternoon is just going to be knitting and quiet. I'm probably going to watch the Kardashians. I had a lovely breakfast. Bananas on toast. Oh, with peanut butter and honey and chia. Oh, so nice. I've not had it in absolutely ages, but I just woke up this morning and I, I want bananas on toast. 
and obviously I'm very fortunate to have the bakery in the village where I can get a nice half loaf of sourdough from because my kids aren't particularly into like thick, thick chunky bread like that yet. Penny will eat it actually but Jeff's not so keen and um, bread is one of the things that my husband um, struggles to tolerate so he doesn't really have it either. Even sourdough he can struggle with. So I just get myself a cheeky half loaf every now and then. And if I don't quite have it all, I'll slice it and put it in the freezer and have it as toast. So yeah, I'm lucky that I've got access to that. And yeah, I love it like a sweet toast. If you have any sweet toast recipes, let me know in the comments. But I'm gonna crack on with some knitting now and I will catch up with you later on today. See you later. children are in bed but I don't think either of them are asleep yet. I had plans for you know a little quick evening chat and then some nice outro clips but I spent the past hour in bed trying to keep Penny calm and still because her breathing is not great. She came back from nursery still a little bit wheezy but not too bad and over the past few hours if anything her breathing's got worse or it was getting worse at least. Um, I gave her loads of her inhaler, I gave her ibuprofen as well and we've been lying down calm, quiet for a while and I think her breathing has improved again so hopefully we won't be doing a trip to A&E tonight but I'm going to see how she is over the next hour and if she doesn't improve then I'll probably call the out of hours doctor just so that we can actually make an appointment go there, see someone and not have to sit in A&E potentially for hours. So yeah, I think I'm just going to sign off here <laughs> and try and get some food in me. <laughs> Mr Penrose is out tonight but he's not very far away and he's on high alert. He's got his phone next to him in case I need him to come back. Um, I don't think we're in an urgent situation anyway. And if we were in an urgent situation, my neighbour would come round and sit with Jeff whilst I took Penny to hospital if she needed to. But I don't think that's going to happen. She is, she's like me, she's a wheezy kid. And if she gets a cold or a cough or a virus, she gets wheezy, which is why she has an inhaler. Um, so we'll see how the evening goes. Um, I've had a really lovely day. It's been super chill. I've got loads done on my um, sock. I'm about to show my MCAL sock. If you don't want any spoilers, look away now. I've nearly finished my left. So yes, I've nearly finished my um, sock. Um, I don't know if I'll be doing much knitting tomorrow. It all kind of depends on how the day goes with P. Um, I have not completed my tasks today on my trackers. Haven't done any of my week jobs, but don't really mind. The one thing I have kept up with though is my water drinking. Those little bees, man. I put um, ladybirds on there too, so the aim is two glasses of water a day. And it's like, it feels good because it's like one of the easy things to check off the list. And yeah, it's definitely good for me. So I'm going to call it a day here and get everything uploaded. So that's all ready to go to edit as soon as I'm available to edit. Um, I don't know when I'll be recording again because it completely depends on Penny and I definitely won't be recording on Friday because in the morning is Jeff's sports day. Hopefully I'll still be able to attend that. Penny's well enough because she's supposed to be at nursery. Um, and in the afternoon <coughs> we were supposed to be going swimming but again the next few days I think are going to be very play it by ear. So hopefully I'll see you again soon. Thank you for joining me once again and I'll see you in the next one. Good night.